The challenge we're faced is how to get from Revit into Bentley. More and more these days, we're faced with projects that require multiple platform delivery. Also, we're faced with projects with various external entities where we're unable to control the modeling tools that are used externally. So when we have Revit, we've always had a challenge of getting into Bentley. Well, Bentley's new iModel plugin has made this much easier. Not only can you get graphics, but you get a data-rich model as well. So we'll have a look at the workflow. And what happens here is you start with an iModel publish tool inside Revit. Place that iModel into ProjectWise. And then you can reference the iModel into a V8i application. From there, add graphics, and away you go. But that's not the only thing. Now you have to get to XM. So within CH2M Hill, we still utilize plant space XM as we await for open plant. So in the world of plant space, in the XM environment, I models do not instantly reference into the environment. So a little more tricky, but in essence, you start in Revit, publish your I model, place it in ProjectWise. All of that's the same. The trick now is you need to save as DWG from within Bentley V8i. So you take your I model, throw it into an AutoCAD file format, pull that into plant space, add your graphics, and away you go. Let's have a quick look at this. Within the world of Revit, we have a standard model. This will be a multidiscipline model, architectural, structural, building mechanical, all bridged together. We'll come to the Bentley button in the ribbon which is placed there via the iModel plugin and we'll select publish and when we publish the iModel it prompts us to log into a data source which we'll do and it's now publishing the iModel it could take up to a minute to process depending on the amount of graphics and data that's contained within your model. When the process is completed, you will have an i.ggn file housed within ProjectWise. Simply opening it within MicroStation V8i, I'm able to save it as a DWG file. That DWG can then be referenced within the plant space environment. And as you can see, I have the complete model from Revit housed within plant space. I can now model pipes accordingly, which you can see here represented by the blue lines. Now to completely round trip this, I can take these pipes and bring them back into the Revit environment. So you can see here in the background now, we have the pipes on in red. So if I come to the Manage tab, and I come to Manage Links, I'm simply referencing in the plant space DGN file in the same manner as I would any other Revit model to give me a complete picture of my project. If I come to this 3D view, you'll see that I am now able to completely design on, on top of all disciplines with data that's either generated within Revit or within Bentley and use the iModel plugin as a transfer medium to go from Revit to Bentley model and then come back into Revit.